I'm not enough, says a woman covered in shame. For us women, you might relate to this statement more than you, you realize. My name is Natalie Steiner. I'm a student at the University of Windsor in the Drama and Education and Community Program. And over the past few years, I've taken the time to kind of dig into the shame of my life. And through that process, I realized that I would like to help other women also deal with their own shame. For women, shame looks like a web of unattainable expectations based on identity found by Dr. Brene Brown in her recent research on shame resilience theory. The shame resilience theory is a grounded theory which works to build up resilience by looking at our authentic selves, but also by building relationships with other people. Shame can come in many different forms. Shame is her inability to attain social expectations on appearance. Shame is her living in a broken home, her feeling not, like she's not pretty enough, not smart enough. In my research, I wanted to utilize a type of theater called playback theater, which is where the audience shares their stories and an acting troupe retells the story through acting it out. My research question asked, can using dramatic methods such as story, dialogue, and playback theater enable female students to explore and overcome feelings of shame? I recruited 17 women, five of which were in the acting troupe. There were many from the dramatic arts building, but also some from the philosophy department and some from the St. Clair College. There were three steps to my research. The first was a pre-questionnaire that asked women to define shame, and also I asked them what they associated shame with in their life. And the, the majority of people checked off things like body image, mental health, and school performance. The second step was to come to a three-hour playback theater evening. And this is where we would dive into different topics, and the women would be able to share their experiences of those topics. So the first one was embarrassing stories, just to break the ice. The second was body image, and the third was speaking out on issues that we're afraid to talk about because we hold shame with them. Using drama as a vehicle helped the women create this incredible little community in such a short span of time that they were even, even willing to express their own experiences of things as deep as abuse. The final step was to fill out a post questionnaire, which asked a lot of the same questions as the last time, as well as their own personal experience of the evening. Some of the most interesting results were that I asked women to rate on a scale from one to five on how they felt about certain statements. One was, I feel brave and courageous. There was a 17% increase when asked that question on the post questionnaire. Similarly, when asked if they felt they had interesting stories, there was an 8% increase from the pre-questionnaire to the post-questionnaire.